Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? Kyle and Warren back again. New week, new topic. Same fight, man. Same fight for our destiny. Same fight for our purpose. Same fight for our life. Man, today I want to talk about a new topic that God has been working on me on this week. But before I even get to that, I just want to keep encouraging you guys, man, to keep going. Keep staying strong. Keep fighting for your life. Remember, this is not a fight for more blessings. This is not a fight for um, any more physical stuff. This is a fight for your destiny. This is a fight for the purpose that you have life. The reason you have life, this is a fight for that. When the devil comes, he only comes to kill, steal, destroy. Then when he comes, it's because there's something to steal, to kill, to destroy. And that thing is your purpose. That thing is your destiny. So always keep that in mind and keep fighting. That should give you more energy and that should give you more passion. That should give you more tenacity. That should give you more strength to want to keep fighting. Always remember, this fight, you can only do it by the grace of God. I want you guys to know that even as I'm talking, I am not there yet. I am not perfect. Understand that. Still dealing with temptations. Still dealing with stuff. But guess what? As I'm going through that, I now understand that when these trials and temptations come, number one, they're not coming to kill me. They're not coming to destroy me. They're coming to build me. And secondly, I can't depend on myself. So now I depend on Jesus. Now I depend on the name of Jesus. I depend on prayer. I depend on going on my knees. Not on my knees physically all the time, but on my knees in my heart. And asking God that I need you. I need your strength. I can't do it by myself. Before we get into the topic, I want to read this scripture. And it's a scripture that a lot of people know. But I'll read it anyway because there's power in the word of God. There's power in the word of God. Somebody say amen. Amen. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Father God, as we get into this word, I pray that you use me, speak through me, Lord Jesus. Um, teach somebody that's watching this how to trust you just as you're teaching me, Lord Jesus. We know that you are God over all things, that you teach us all things through the Holy Spirit. So we honor and bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lean not on your own understanding. <sighs> now, I don't know about you guys, but... I have been going through a whole phase in my life right now where God is like really just teaching me to trust Him in everything. I'm talking about everything. The things that I used to use my physical understanding, my human understanding to deal with in the past, God is literally teaching me how to now depend on Him for those same things. This hasn't been the easiest thing because from, from when we're kids to adults to when we become adults, We've been taught how to depend on our understanding. We go to school to gain more knowledge, gain more understanding. Now the Bible is telling me not to lean on my own understanding. The same understanding that I've been leaning on all this time, now I can't lean on it. So you're telling me when I'm confused and I and I know if I do this here and I do that here, I can make this happen. Now you're telling me not to lean on that, that I should lean on you instead to make it happen. Man, I don't know about y'all, but to me, that's like one of the hardest things that I'm having to learn is this walk with God. It's almost like walking blind. If you have a friend with you in the room, or you have your family, or you have your wife, or you have whoever, you have somebody else in that room, I want you guys to try this. And with your eyes closed, try to walk from that point to any location that both of you guys agree on. And as you walk, you will see that you're scared. And you don't know if you're gonna to run to something. But that person is right there and will not let you run into anything. So you can't see this person. You can't with your physical, physical ears hear this person. You can't touch this person, but you know they're there. And when you start walking, when you start walking, when you start walking, and you almost run into something and then they turn you, and you feel that. Now at this point, you start to trust them even more. And then you keep going, and you almost run into something, 
And then they turn you again and you feel them turn you. You trust them even more until you get to your destination. That's how it is with God. It's almost like walking blind. And as you go, as you go, as you go, as you go, trust in Him. You don't see Him with your physical eyes. You don't hear Him with your physical ears. Sometimes you can't, you can't touch Him with your hands. But you know He is there at all times. Because He told us that His thoughts for us are good and not evil. He will not let you harm yourself. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your path. How do we acknowledge God in prayer? It's as simple as just praying before you do anything. Yes, it's, I don't understand. Yes, it's confusing. But I trust you that you will do it. And I promise you, man, He will continue to guide you. He will continue to lead you. See, because we are, we are physical humans, it's so hard to trust something we don't see. But the Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. And faith is seeing those things that, that's not as though they were. So you got to see God. Even though you don't see him physically, you got to see him like he is right there. You trust God by faith. Even though you don't understand what your next step is going to be, even though you don't understand what your next move is, you just know that God is not going to let you harm yourself. Everything is working out for your good. Man, this is one of those messages that only God can reveal it to you. And he can only teach you by examples. He's only going to teach you by training you on trust. He's going to start from the little things and then take you to another level and take you to another level that when you remember of, the, of how you trusted him in the past and he brought you to where you are now, you can trust him even more. That's how it works. This thing is not magic. This thing doesn't happen overnight. It's a gradual process. And that's what makes us tougher. That's what makes us overcome even more in the future. So learn to trust God, man. Learn to trust God. Learn to just depend on Him. Learn to depend on Him. And believe that He will make it happen. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Thank you guys for watching, man. Continue to trust God. Continue to trust God in all your ways. It's Kade. I'm doing the same. I'm trusting Him in all my ways. Have a good week. Have a blessed week. Kade, man.